All right, folks, getting things started off today at Hope Thrift. This is right by like an RV park slash uh, golf resort. Someone drove their uh, golf cart over there. Maybe we'll find uh, golf clubs, but always looking for something cool, not just golf clubs, but uh, never know what you're gonna find, so. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. Oh, there's two doors. Never been to this one. This one is uh, the same one as uh, 192 Hope Thrift. And that one, really like yeah, that one has like a bunch of uh, Disney resort stuff. I don't know if this one gets it. They got some cool furniture out here though. Dang, this is like ridiculous. Oh, it's, it must be a uh, Disney resort thing. These are the things that cover Oh, oh, the only like ten, the, yeah, they cover the AC, AC and unit, hotel yeah. units, yeah. Well, got a bunch of uh, different interesting things. Let's see what they got inside. Well, they do have some golf clubs over here. Nothing crazy. We got some Pro Touches, a Wilson Sam Sneed Blue Ridge. I think this is actually just a, a Blue Ridge. I don't see Sam Sneed on there. My dad's first set of golf clubs was a, a set of Wilson Blue Ridge Sam Sneeds. Also got a, a full. Oh, is this a, a ping? G2? Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, I didn't even there. notice that. Ping G2? Oh, no, just the ah, hiccup. No. It's a full, oh, someone switched it out. <laughs> yeah, full set of uh, Nancy Lopez uh, Northwesterns. Yeah, Ping G2. That thing is ridiculously easy to uh, hit uh -huh. off the tee and off the fairway. It's one of the best combos. Usually it's like one or the other. Oh, they do have uh, Disney stuff in here. This is from the, uh, uh, what do we, they had this at the other Hope Thrift. I think it was from uh, the Grand Floridian. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this is kind of cool. See if they've got any other cool stuff that we haven't seen before. Yeah, this is from, this is from the. Whoa! I wonder if the, does it work? Whoa! Imagine if there's like something still in there. Oh. That would be awesome to uh, crack open twenty dollars yeah, on it's that. Really heavy, but you assume it's just because it's safe. Yeah, and then this was one of the uh, little entertainment systems of the Grand Floridian. Oh no, we're stuck back here. Oh, this is different. I didn't know that Sun Mountain actually made clothes. I know them for uh, golf bags, but five dollars on this kind of looks like a uh, higher end, almost like zero friction the uh, golf brand what do you got over there when you're just feeling like a few little donuts oh man a little mini don't i want to get the conveyor belt thing that fries it up yes. that would be amazing you see them at like fairs and at the flea markets They're fascinating. yeah they would be like 400 pounds we already though. go to flea markets all the time so it's like basically the same thing as having one in your uh, kitchen we got a pool table down here bunch of uh, random stuff oh i was about to give up on the thrift store but check this out we found some pyrex that one i have no idea what I've it never is i've seen it in person before it's golden honeysuckle it's oh. really cool Cool. Golden like, honeys. They have the weirdest names, like yeah, Amish do. butter and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amish butter prints. <laughs> that kind of almost looks like a uh, anchor or fire king because they're more known for the white ones, right? Yeah, exactly. That's I'm learning. I'm trying to get. Well, there's so many patterns that I can't even keep up. Well, you've I been so going. good in learning all the uh, golf clubs. I need to uh, step up my game on the uh, Pyrex, but that is <laughs> but super cool. I don't actually know how much one this is worth, but it's $3.99. So $3.99. Definitely worth $3.99. For sure. It's worth whatever you want to pay for it. <laughs> You're worth it. Thanks found this grand floridian little hoodie right here this is pretty cool they have a bunch of uh, actual furniture from there and then now we got a hoodie i don't know if that would uh, fit ashley it's like ridiculously uh, small pull tab is fit, but i think this one tops it oh that is so sick logo seven that is so <laughs> cool vintage chicago bulls five-time nba champions that is awesome and it's not like screen print it's actually yeah like... it's like holy but yeah it's like stitched uh -huh. that is this is a pretty good find. Yeah, there you go. We were literally just about to uh, leave. We found Pyrex and awesome uh, vintage Logo 7. That is... That's pretty awesome. That is amazing. You found both of them. I literally walked by the uh, Pyrex and yeah. I was like, oh, it's just Anchor. And you're like, no. No. It's Pyrex. <laughs> you always find the good stuff. All right, $7 later, we are proud owners of some more Pyrex and a vintage Bulls thing. But check this out. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. What are the chances that it's still pronounced the same way with two lights out? It's a Hobby Lobby. Both of the bees are out. Fascinating. Fascinating. But uh, next stop here is Marshall's. It's kind of like a thrift store. Nobody wanted this stuff, so now it ended up here. So it's a little bit more expensive. Yes. I don't know if that's how Marshall's actually uh, works. No. I think it's like the stuff that doesn't sell like at their main stores. And then... No one wanted it. Still, It still kind of applies. Yeah, just like us. No one wants this, but <laughs> someone still watches once in a while. <laughs> Man, we were slightly making fun of Marshall's when we came in here, but there's actually some cool stuff in here. We got a bunch of uh, different vans. We got some New Balance, two of my favorite uh, sneaker brands. Those are kind of cool. Are these fresh foam? Uh, no, I think it's like their lower end one. Oh, you got some more vans. Those are kind of cool. It's only 30 bucks. And it's like a weird felt. It almost reminds me of AstroTurf. Oh, no, it's like a, a pool table. There you go. Oh, yeah, that too. Or billiards or <laughs> whatever. What go. do they call it in the uh, UK? I forget what it's called. Snooker. Or is that just a specific game of billiards? I am not sure. This is above our heads. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, lots of... Uh, oh, check out all of these Crocs. These are the weirdest. It's got like a uh, rubber guard for your uh, little holes. Huh. These are like weird clear ones. What are, what's happening? Is that, are here? those Crocs? Yeah, this those is, oh, well, I've seen the uh, fleece line ones before, but. Like 
Did I die? I have. It was sparkly crocs. Wow. Oh, faux crocs. Oh, faux crocs. Faux crocs. They're fox. Those are crocs. Those are crocs, though. You want to go holiday season? Yeah. There you go. Interesting shoe section, to say the least. Whoa, check that out. Oh, uh, this is super cute. I think it's that is cool. one of the niece's presents. Yeah, watch. spoiler alert. Oh, I think it's on clearance, too. <laughs> yeah, 31 bucks. Oh, no, it's missing something. It's Aww. missing one of the uh, pieces. There's supposed to be another thing right here. We'll find something else. Our something nieces better. were, yeah, our nieces. <laughs> you're worth three pieces, it's, not two. <laughs> you're worth three pieces. Whoa, check this out. You're Ashley finds. make blow molds again. That is pretty cool. Yeah. The vintage blow molds are like super popular. Ooh. At least they were uh, last year. Remember that at a garage sale? We picked up a uh, full set of them, except for the uh, camel. It was like a whole nativity scene. Still looking for the camel. The camel, like, I think we spent like $100 on it, and mm. it's worth, I don't remember how much it's worth, but the uh, camel, alone is worth like four or five hundred dollars kind of crazy that for a camel uh, this, this one's 50 bucks 50 though. bucks but he's uh taking a uh, left hook to the uh, jaw mm, right there stories the other reindeers didn't like him yeah there you go he is uh, rudolph they didn't uh, like him at the uh, beginning first, yeah. then he lit the way speaking of lighting the way check these out we got some florida vibes uh little christmas action going on here this is like really almost like silk yeah. that's crazy you got another one down here that is very scratchy. Oh, I he was golfing at <laughs> Somewhere in between the two would be a uh, comfortable uh, shirt, but blow molds. Ashley's found the best stuff today. I don't even know why. So I'm just ride. your cameraman. Yep. Dang, I regret talking bad about Marshalls. They literally have some fire resistant Carhartt jeans in here. I think they've got multiple pairs on clearance. That is uh, crazy. What do you got? I think I may have you beat. Whoa, that is <laughs> awesome. Mariah Carey pop. <laughs> Did you know she didn't want to do a holiday, like Christmas that, album? Yeah. It's just like, definitely She was off. already famous, but then she became yeah, like, like... I don't want to do a Christmas album. It's not going to do well. And now it's like the most popular. Yeah. Her, she is like not a rapper, but she has one of the best diss songs of all time. Yes. We'll uh, link to that in the uh, description. It's but that was my favorite songs. It's <laughs> such a good song. And then it's just like so funny. And like hearing it not as like rap, like rap right. is like very uh, common to have like a... Uh, um, like a beef battle, mm -hmm. like, yeah. That's... See right through you like you're bathing in Windex. It's just... an amazing line. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> right. I don't know if she wrote it all herself or she had a ghostwriter, but it was pretty amazing. <laughs> Check this out. We got a uh, North Face little uh, quarter zip. This thing is really cool. Although now that I look at it, it's like ridiculously boxy, even for me. Yes. I am a giant human, but $50 on that. That is pretty cool. What do you... More your speed. First off, it's $19.99 and it's Tampa Bay. Oh, right? that is so cool. It's literally the, I think this is like the same thing that they use for the Adidas golf ones. Yeah, it feels like it. Yeah, that is ridiculously cool. You guys know that we are Lightning fans. Mm -hmm. Although since we moved to Orlando, all of our games are blacked out, so. It's been very frustrating. Yeah, and then we have like Hulu, so it's like impossible to get to uh, center ice. We'll have to figure that out here, but. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, you're gonna throw the remote at the TV soon. I've almost thrown the remote, cause I'm like, oh, it's on. And then it's like, you're uh, blacked out. It's I was like, like, really? Come on. I don't, I don't know. We need to figure that one out. We need but to figure that one out, too. In the meantime, at least you can. Maybe we'll go to a game and I can wear it. There you go. There you go. It's That's a little bit more expensive than watching on TV. <laughs> It solves our problem of not being able to uh, see them. That is super cool. Again, Ashley with the uh, fines. $19.99. That is. Really good deal. Yeah. All right. I'm the cameraman today. You win. And continuing on, Ashley has found one of the uh, coolest little onesies that I've it's ever so seen. Tipsy Elves. I think that was on a uh, Shark Tank. I think it was. They had like suits, right? Yeah. You have one that is a, a pinata shirt and it says, let's get smashed. It's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, is that a... It is. Oh, that is super but cool. Is it all you can eat lobster buffet? Yeah, the Boston know? Lobster Fest. Yeah. Can you imagine just strolling up? <laughs> that would be hilarious. I wanted to give you... It's on clearance. That's no one cool. wanted it. Oh, The so leftovers, sad. just like us. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here today. Ashley's found everything. <laughs> Whenever we get off of golf clubs, it's like, I don't know what I'm looking for. And Ashley finds the coolest stuff. I found all the stuff. I did find a charcuterie board though. All right, Ashley found everything good. So she gets to choose dinner. Actually, I don't know why we drove here. It's literally in the, uh, almost the same parking lot Oops. as uh, Marshall's, but she's got a hack for Chipotle. So Actually, we're gonna- I have multiple Chipotle hacks, but I'm showing you one today. Yeah, there you go. Ashley, <laughs> she does have a lot of uh, fast food uh, hacks, but oh, the line is ridiculous, but the uh, drive through is, well, I don't think the hack works through in the uh, drive through No. And you can't inspect their work. Be like, no, you need to put on more guacamole. Yes. I'm paying $17 for it. Right. All right, updates to come. <laughs> oh, today's dinner. This looks unbelievable. That is fully stuffed right there. Yeah, this is a hack indeed. You order the veggie and you get free guac. It's yeah. totally worth it. There's so much going on, you won't even miss the meat. Oh, definitely. I think like a regular burrito, not the veggie one, is over $10. And then the guacamole is like $5. Yeah. And we only spent ten dollars on that and, and like loaded too there's technically more hacks in here but you'd have to subscribe to learn more 
<laughs> <Don't> <laughs> we're not gonna do more uh, food acts but uh, check this out it's amazing it yeah. hasn't been opened yet also all it's they had were spoons day. even in the knives and the forks all they had were spoons I luckily i have to go into the car to get the no nah, i think we could manage we'll you want to give her out. a taste test also order every single thing except for the uh, rojo sauce i love uh, a red salsa but not chipotle's not all I right. got extra, extra of the very You're not right. even going to get into the uh, rice. No. This thing is uh, so <laughs> loaded. We're going to have leftovers uh, <laughs> splitting a meal, which is uh, pretty hard to do. Yeah, that's why. This thing is like, this is way too much food for one person. Definitely two people. Uh, Another hack. There you go. The uh, free burrito day in Bloomington when we were in uh, college, I went three times and I would order two burritos every single time and they were free. I may or may not have eaten them within a 24 hour period, hence why I'm at my current size. But <laughs> here we go. I got most of the goodness. Yeah, the perfect bite without rice. So good. You find the best stuff. No one cares about my opinions or what I find. Hope you guys did like this video. If you don't like it, subscribe. And we'll see you next we'll time. We'll see you next time. I think this is daily vlog number 20. Eventually and we need to count these. We need to count these. Yeah, well, it, it's pretty easy to uh, count, but uh, you know us in math. We didn't go to Purdue. We went to IU, so we're not very That's good true. at math. But uh, I think we're at almost, I think, like 10,500 subscribers. Yes, thank you. But uh, we'll see you next time. So good. 10 pounds of food for ten dollars also comment below the green tabasco better than the red there you go hope you guys like this video subscribe and we'll see you next time